What's up boys, MKDB here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today lads, we do have a mini review series on the Gabriel Palista uh, showdown card that did come out here. It is going to be a showdown card, so obviously lads, it can get upgraded by 2 as well, which is absolutely brilliant. If you're new around here, don't forget to all drop a like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get straight into things. He just played for Valencia, and um, he is six foot one, low high work rates, which is decent, very, very good, uh, mind you, for a defender. Um, good pace, 83 pace is decent if he gets that 2 upgrade as well. Or a one upgrade, it could go up, you know, a bit higher, obviously. Um, the shooting, again, is pretty irrelevant. Passing seems decent. 81, 88, 80, 81 isn't too bad at all. Uh, dribblings as well. Reactions, composure, really, really good. And uh, seems decent on the ball and stuff as well. You know, someone who's six foot one, you would really expect them to be brilliant. But uh, defending's there. Strength is there. You know, all the physical stats. Aggression's very, very nice as well. Dives into tackles. No traits other than that. But uh, looks like a really, really good card. Going into the SBC, um, we will find out how much it costs and stuff. But uh, get into the squad. You do need an 86 rated squad uh, with 65 chemistry, one team of the week player as well, and a Brazilian player as well. He is currently coming in at around 140, 150k. Kind of depends on your console and stuff as well. I will say that'll drop to around 120k or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's a decent value as well and stuff for, you know, other options and stuff. You know, looking at Militao, Brazilian links and stuff as well are really, really decent on the card. Uh, and honestly, looking at different options, there's definitely a few options. Um, the more likely of the two clubs to win. I'm not going to lie, I have no real idea. They're kind of... I don't really know. So yes, lads, just after a quick check there. Valencia are actually 10th and Betis are 5th. So the Betis may have the better option um, and the better chance of winning and stuff. But again, you never know. You never know. Gabriel Palista could come up with a header at the like, last minute of the game. You never know. But honestly, you don't really know with them kind of matches and stuff as well. Um, in all honesty, do I think this is card is worth it? I would say maybe a 6 out of 10. It's not, it's not brilliant. It's not terrible. It's a decent one. But uh, if he gets a 2 upgrade, maybe up to 7 or something. But um, there's definitely better options. I know tradable options and stuff as well. Around 120, 130k. Honestly, it probably is worth it if you do have the fodder and stuff in your club. Like if you want to go ahead and complete him, if you need a Brazilian centre-back. Um, you know, you don't have 400k to spell a Mila Tower or someone. And it could be a decent option then. But uh, I think there is slightly better options than like Secundes, Freeze cards. Uh, coming up to Team of the Season and stuff as well. I don't actually think it is worth it. I really, really don't. I don't, but at the same time, maybe you're an Arsenal, you know. Maybe you liked him when he was at Arsenal or whatever and stuff as well. Or just in general, you might like Gabriel Palista as a player. Or you like, you know, you're Brazilian or you're a Valencia fan. Whatever the case may be, lads. It is going to be worth it for some people. But again, overall, the majority of people, I do not think this card is worth it. I would say a 6 out of 10. But uh, if he does get a 2 upgrade and stuff as well to a 91, he could be a good option. But yeah, team of the season coming up. I wouldn't say it's worth it in my opinion. He doesn't really do it for me. But uh, nonetheless, it is a very, very decent um, price and stuff. And in low high work rates, he could be an absolute beast in game. But that is going to wrap things up for the video, lads. Thank you so much for watching the mini review series. If you do enjoy, smash thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you boys next time with the next review. Peace.